What's up guys, JR Raymond back again coming to you from MRB Classic Pro Shop, where today we're going to talk about that hot topic one more time, these urethane balls, and actually in particular, the Purple Hammer. We got some speculation, we got some comments when I was at the TOC this week, talked to a couple of guys with uh, about urethane and all that, trying to come up with why uh, it's such a big issue, and I think, uh, I think we got a little bit of inside info. So we're going to talk about that whole thing when I get back. Stay tuned. All right, welcome back. So this ball right here, Purple Hammer by Ebonite, uh, or Ebonite International, I guess it was, with Hammer. When they first originally came out with these, now again, I don't know details. I don't know the data. I don't know exact anything. Uh, from what I can understand, it's all speculation. Uh, but there's some guys out there that have a little inside info on this stuff. Um, and this is just what I've heard. I'm not going to use any names. Um, so that way nobody can you know, try and you know, say anybody's wrong or this and that or that they're biased or whatever. Um, but what I was told is that there are separate batches of the Purple Hammer um, some that technically are illegal and some that are not. Um, this right here would be one that is not illegal. This is one of the newer ones. This one was made a little bit later um, in, the, in the batches. But from what I'm told, some of the early staged purple hammers, the ones that very first came out, um, were made with a much softer cover. And somehow they made it through the testing and everything else, even though they were too soft according, if you were to take a durometer and test the cover stock itself, supposedly they would be too soft for USB-C regulation, but somehow they made them through. Um, they were caught later on that, uh, that, that supposedly this had happened, they said, but that would be why some purple hammers look different than others. Now, does it make a big difference? It's hard to say. Um, but I can tell you right now, mine is one of the older, one of the newer ones. It's not one of the older ones that has the softer cover and mine, I can't shape the lane. I can't go around the lane as easily as some of the ones from beginner, some of the, some of the earlier ones. And what I mean by this is what they're talking about is if you were to look at the serial number on the bottom, um, they always start with a number, the smaller, the number, the earlier edition that they were in, in this case. So anything with a six or a seven to start were the early batches that were made technically too soft, according to what I've heard. Um, and anything with an eight or a nine are okay. They were normal, normal uh, thickness, normal uh, how soft they were, whatever, whatever it's called. They take a durometer to it and the eights and nines are gonna be a harder shell than what the six and sevens are. So now people are going around looking at each other's bowling balls, trying to figure out who's got a six, who's got a seven, who's got an eight, who's got a nine. Well, I looked at all the ones that I have here and I either got eights or nines, so I'm screwed. I don't have any of the good ones. But um, that's that's kind of the thing is they're talking about these, these balls in particular are the ones that are causing an unfair advantage. If you have one of those earlier edition ones that are technically considered illegal uh, by standards, I guess. I don't know. Again, uh, I'm just going by what I'm told. So don't crucify me. Uh, I personally, if I'm going to be completely honest about this, I really don't care, honestly. Um, I actually like being able to use urethane a little bit. Even this week at the TOC, I used it for the most part. Um, and it is such a good tool for being able to keep your angles straight. Um, I, I would prefer, obviously, using a short pin reactive. But uh, as much as you want to get close to a, a, a urethane look, you're never going to get exact. You know, urethane is urethane. It gives you a different shape than what a reactive ball does, even with the short pins. So um, I guess with that being said, urethane is king. You know, I mean, it, it totally makes sense, especially after bowling the TOC. With what we were bowling on, I tried a little bit of both using reactive and urethane. Urethane was by far my better reaction. You know, it definitely controlled the pattern much more for me. So I get why those guys especially early in blocks, are going to use urethane out of the gates to make sure they stay in play. Uh, and a lot of the times, you just stick with urethane, and you can make it do what you want. But according to sources, they say if you have one of the earlier sixes or sevens of the purple urethane, then you are able to use it even longer because you can make it shape. It's a little bit softer. You can make it hook a little bit more down lane 
than what the eights or nines do. So uh, check your bag. If you have a purple hammer in your bag and that serial number starts with a six or a seven, um, you're probably, uh, you got one of the good ones. So check it out. But anyway, uh, in my opinion, I'm gonna drill one of these bad boys next. I got uh, ooh, this bad boy sitting here, ready to go, pitch purple. We're gonna drill it up. We're gonna get ready for this 37 foot pattern next week. Uh, at the Players' Championship, and it's going to mean straight angles, and it's going to mean probably an awful lot of urethane going down the lane again. So uh, I'm going to have myself prepared to ready to play straighter angles with uh, with urethane or with whatever bowling ball I'm allowed to use. I'm going to drill a couple of short pin balls, and we're going to give her a run next week. So we'll see what happens. But that's all I got. I just kind of wanted to let you in on some of the talk going around about the Purple Hammer and what's going on. I think uh, there's going to be an article coming out here real shortly. Uh, that talks about this whole subject. So pay attention to that. Um, but that's all I got. Until next time, we'll see you guys later. Take care.